In this video, we will share the LEGO John Deere 9620R four-wheel drive tractor with a dual tire setup, differentials, and PTO. This is video two of two with the dual tire setup modification. It is also one of a few videos with mods to this LEGO set that we will share. The difference with this video and the first video is that in addition to the dual tire setup, we also have added differentials and a PTO. We've even modified the cab so a LEGO minifigure can sit inside it. We're going to start again with a review about the single, dual, and triple tire setups. As an alternative to a single tire setup, the 9620R can also be set up with duals or triples. Dual tires or duals mean that there are two wheels and tires on each corner with a total of eight wheels and tires. Triple tires or triples mean that there are three wheels and tires on each corner with a total of 12 wheels and tires. In this video, we're going to set up duals. The included wheel and tire looks like it may be a little too wide compared with a real dual setup and much too wide compared with a triple setup. That being said, using two of the included LEGO wheels and tires still gives it some of the proportions of a multi-wheel and tire setup. The difference between this video and the first setup is that in addition to the dual tire setup, we also have added differentials, a PTO, and even modified the cab so a LEGO minifigure can sit in it. We will begin with the John Deere tractor as it is assembled with the LEGO set 42136 instructions. We are going to start by looking at these tractors with the wheels off. This is the view of the assembly undercarriage including a gear set. This view will show some of the details so we can see some of what it took to put the dual wheels on. The gear set allows a person to control the turning or articulated steering of the tractor. We can also see that there are additional pieces in the front and the rear to brace the axles and wheels. We can see that there is a 1x3 connector for the axle on the front wheels. There is also a 1x2 piece in the front to help brace the front wheels. In the rear, there is a 1x3 piece to brace the axle for the rear wheels. Another thing that we can see is that each of the wheels on the tractor can spin freely of each other because they are all on independent axle pieces. Although this axle looks like it could be a straight axle, the rear axles are actually two separate pieces. To compare, we will look at the modification I did to install the dual tire setup with differentials and a PTO. This is our version 2 of 2 with the LEGO John Deere 9620R tractor with a dual tire setup. Similar to the first dual tire setup, the goal of this mod was to keep the tractor as close as possible to the LEGO 42136 set dimensions. In this view of the undercarriage, we can see the longer axles to accommodate for the dual tires. As seen, there are now two differentials between the frame rails. We can also see a universal joint that connects the drive shafts between the front and rear assembly. This universal joint will allow the drivetrain to rotate with the articulated steering of the LEGO tractor. After the rear differential, there is an additional pinion gear and axle for the PTO. A tractor PTO is a power takeoff. The PTO allows torque to be transferred through the drivetrain to the end of the tractor where an attached implement or separate machine connects to it. Although I have not yet built an implement to attach this LEGO tractor, here's a quick demonstration of how it would be done. Using a straight axle connector piece would be the easiest way. As seen, a universal joint can also be used. The advantage of the universal joint is that the axle for the PTO could swivel side to side with the trailer hitch. We can demonstrate how the drivetrain works by rotating the rear pinion gear. As a side note, a differential allows a difference of torque and rotation to the axle shaft on each side. Since the original set had no engine and included independent axles, differentials were unnecessary. I added them to this mod mostly for the aesthetics. You'll also notice I removed the gear set that allows a person to control the turning or articulated steering of the tractor. I thought the differentials would be more interesting than that system, especially with the dual tire setup. This is because, as seen on the first version of this mod, the tractor has no problem articulating while rolling. I did initially try to add the differentials with those gears set up. I found it to be too much of a compromise because the gear set had to move one stud up to accommodate the differential. If I move that gear set one stud up, it would create a ripple effect of compromises to maintain the height of the rear fenders. Now in this version 2, you'll notice when viewing this rear assembly that many additional parts were needed to be added to strengthen the rear assembly. Again, this is a compromise from the additional weight of the dual tires, the differential added, and the steering gears removed. When looking at the front assembly with the differential installed, it wasn't as difficult to modify as the rear. 
As mentioned previously, one of the goals was to keep the track or width between the first set of wheels to be the same. Another consideration while working on this mod was to allow a Lego minifigure to sit in the cab. While removing the roof, we can see the pieces I put, including the one with two studs to hold the Lego minifigure in place. The original seat is one stud too high. If a Lego minifigure sat at the height of the original seat, the head of the minifigure would hit the roof. There are also compromises associated with allowing a Lego minifigure to sit in the cab. These include additional support needed for the whole rear assembly. I installed additional pieces including a long brick in the rear of the cab to reinforce the seat area and rear assembly. Now we've seen and discussed the mods used for the dual tire setup. We will now show how the dual wheels and tires themselves are installed on the tractor. First, the wheel and tire included with the Lego set is installed on the longer axle. Next, the dual tire setup including the second wheel and tire is installed next to the first tire. This is demonstrated in detail in the first of these two dual tire videos. In summary, the dual tire setup after the first wheel is an additional 1x2 axle connector piece and an additional 1x3 axle. Those two additional pieces will allow the second wheel to be installed on the side of the first. To finish the dual tire setup, the second wheel and tire is installed over the 1x3 axles. In this view, we can see how the LEGO John Deere 9620R four-wheel drive tractor rolls and articulates with the dual tire setup. Along with the additional weight of the dual wheels and tires, rolling the tractor also demonstrates why support is needed for the rear. In this view, we will rotate the original assembly for the LEGO set 42136. In this view, we will rotate the LEGO John Deere 9620R four-wheel drive tractor with dual tires, differential, and PTO. For comparison, we will view both the dual tire and single tire setup side by side. We can see that we've maintained most of the dimensions of the original set. This includes the height of the hood, roof, and rear fenders. Here is a Lego minifigure added to this view to give the idea of scale between the original tractor and this mod with the dual tires. Now we will take the roof off to take a look inside the cab. With the roof removed, we can place the Lego minifigure in the cab. If a Lego minifigure sat at the height of the original seat, the head of the minifigure would hit the roof. As mentioned in previous videos, a Lego minifigure can fit in a sitting position in the cab. However, because both the seat and the floor are smooth, the Lego minifigure will not stay in place. If you look very closely, you'll see the Lego minifigure is actually sitting on the floor and not the seat itself. Now we will again remove the roof of the tractor with the dual tire mod. We can see the mods done inside the cab. These include two studs to hold the Lego minifigure in place. With these two studs, the Lego minifigure can sit inside the John Deere tractor cab securely and without the head hitting the roof. As seen, there were other modifications needed inside the tractor cab to make this happen. Here's another look of the undercarriage with the dual wheels and tires installed. We will again demonstrate the drivetrain working while rotating the front differential. As seen, while the bottom tires are held in place by the bench, the top tires are able to rotate freely. This demonstrates that with an open differential, the torque transfers to the wheels that have the least amount of traction. Here are additional views of the LEGO John Deere 9620R tractor with this dual tire mod. As a side note, there are many reasons why tractors have multiple tire setups like duals or triples. Here are a few. The increased surface area of the additional tires help to spread the weight across a larger area and reduce soil compaction. This is a similar reason to why there are flotation tires available for tractors. This is also why flotation and soil compaction are used when discussing tractor weight distribution across a larger surface. Another reason to install duals or triples is that the increased surface area also increases the efficiency to transmit torque from the drivetrain to the soil, which leads to more traction. Although there may be more, the last reason to install duals or triples is to help reduce or eliminate power hop. Power hop in a tractor is when the tractor hops, bounces, or jumps during field operation. Power hop is uncomfortable for the operator in the cab and leads to a loss of traction and efficiency during the hop. This concludes our LEGO John Deere 9620R tractor mod for a dual tire setup. Please keep in mind that this is a second of two dual tire video setups. There will also be more LEGO videos to follow.